Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 419 for all the faithful women. The text is by Hermann Stümpfle, and he wrote this text in 1975 for a hymn of the 10th anniversary of the first woman ordained in the Lutheran Church of America, who was Elizabeth A. Platz. So 10th anniversary, 1975, a uh, great text for that. And he also was president at time of, I believe, the Gettysburg Seminary, which is where uh, I think she did attend there. So the tune uh, is a Finnish folk tune, and that's why we have the name Kuratain, because that's a province in Finland. And what I want to look at is the form. We haven't talked to form a bit uh, about form for a while on Hymn of the Week. We have an A, A prime, B, A double prime. So what's interesting is this beginning, uh, this is almost a hymn writing 101 course uh, because it's done so well with this tune. If we look at the first line, the second line starts the same, but in the first line, we just jump, go back to the starting note and then move basically by step with a repeated note. The second line, what we do is we take, we go down to the tonic and we're taking a very simple pattern of up and down, almost trill-like, and then adding the fifth to that, or as we would say, the first note of the phrase. So great ideas for hymn writers here to go back to that same theme and then of course um, play that tonic note. I'm sorry, in this case it would be the dominant because we're in E flat. And then basically up and down pentascale-ish or just scalar patterns. Now what do we have in the last line? Uh, that's also another A. We start the same way, so very easy to sing, and then we jump again to the starting note, in this case of course the dominant, and we have the same pattern that we have in the second line. So it's debatable, but because that leap is now an octave leap, not a repeated note as we see in the first line, therefore it is a repeated, it's a different version of A. So you can see it's very uh, great tune for learning to sing, hence why it's set with so many texts in hymnals, and there's other texts that are set in the ELW with this uh, tune as well. So, For All the Faithful Women has many verses. Uh, because Sunday is Mother's Day, I'm electing to play what we'll be singing here, so it'd be verses 1, 10, and 2. So here is For All the Faithful Women.
the things I like to do sometimes with hymns, and many organists already know this, is to take part of the alto line and make it either a descant or part of something, uh, let's say maybe an interlude as part of the hymn. And so what I did with this is I took part of the alto line and I made it an interlude as an, also an introduction. Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.